will scare them staring into the camera that close. Good morning. Those who are at home, we invite you to join us at our daily Mass in Lent. Please join in an opening hymn, Draw Near, O Lord. Um, most of us may know that it is hymn number 468. Draw near, O Lord our God, graciously hear us, guilty of sinning before you. O King exalted, Savior of all nations, see how our grieving lifts our eyes to heaven. Hear us, Redeemer, as we beg forgiveness. Draw near, O Lord our God, graciously hear us, guilty of sinning before you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, the Lord had to walk that lonesome road each and every one of us do. We have a, a life's journey that is set before us, but our Father guides us each day. At times we fall, we fail and sin. And so we begin each Mass with a penitential prayer, reminding ourselves of our humanity, but also the dignity that we have in being called children of God and call upon our Father. O Lord, our God, through the waters of baptism, you have called us as your sons and daughters. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you sacrificed your life for our salvation and for forgiveness of sins. Christ, have mercy. Spirit of God, you are ever present to us to lead and guide us on our journey. Help us to know and do what is right and just and good. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Wisdom. The wicked set him on themselves, thinking that aright. Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God, and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us he is the center of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us, because his life is not like that of others, and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just, and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, 
and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the broken heart. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the broken heart. Lord, be my heart not in my lips, and the words we proclaim your holy gospel. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish Feast of Tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. So some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they do nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, You know me, and you also know where I am from. Yet I do not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand on him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. There was this atheist who went before a judge, a federal judge, and he said, you know what, judge? I want you to declare all the religious holidays invalid. Christmas, Easter, and honoring the Christians and the Jews and the Muslims, all those holidays are invalid because there's nothing for us who are atheists. And he said, my dear man, you are wrong. You do have a holiday. And he said, we do not. He said, all these holidays taken out of the Bible there's nothing for us. He says, it is. It's written in the book of Proverbs. Anyone who does not, he said, your holiday is April 1st. Anyone who does not live, believe in God is a fool. I hope you enjoy your holiday. Happy April Fool's Day, everybody. Go have some fun with it today. Ask someone to call up Mrs. Lyons at the Brookfield Zoo. I usually do that with new employees, and I get away with it for numerous years. Mea culpa, mea culpa, mea maxima culpa, but I'm forgiven on this one day of the year. The challenge for us is, on our Lenten journey, to call to mind that it's not just Jesus' journey that we celebrate, but it helps us call to mind our own journey. And it's so easy for us to forget because we're so far away from the Christ event. We weren't there to see and to hear Christ speak in his own words. And yet we are privileged to hear these words that the apostles took time to, and scribes took time to write down for us, to hear the words of Christ as if he were speaking them to us now. But do we believe? The challenge for us is if we really do believe in baptism and the sacraments of our church, then we need to believe also we are children of God. And as children of God, we have the privilege through Jesus to call upon God as our Father. Some people, I think, just believe, well, those are pious words. It's a nice way of referring to us and keeps us close as a community of faith, a family of faith, the different terms of endearment that we use. But it's more than that. It describes a reality that we live in. 
But if we only believe that they're pious words, then we just go about our daily business. If we truly believe we're children of God, then that means we have to do the will of our Father. And our Father asks us to do what Jesus did. And you've heard me repeat this over and over again, but I know you forget, like I do. We're getting older. We're not as remembering as we used to be. And that is, we are called to reveal who God is. And you know those three words that reveal who God is? What are those three words? God is love. God is love. That's it. That sums up all of our sacraments. It sums up all of our rubrics and rituals. It sums up all of Scripture. It sums up all of creation and why we're here. What can we do that God can't do for himself? Nothing, except we can love him. God can't do that for himself because love is a free gift that's given. If it's not, if we play Monty Hall and let's make a deal, Lord, if you'll do this, then I'll do that. It doesn't work. Kind of like the man who had given up sweet rolls for Lent, and he said, Lord, I'm dying for a sweet roll. And Zettelmeyer's is just a few blocks away from here. If you want me to have a sweet roll, then let there be one position right in front of the front door, a parking space right in front of the front door. And you know, after he went around the block seven times, there was a spot right in front of the front door. Do we play games with our father? like we did when we were children. The dog did it. My little brother, my sister did it. I didn't do it. And we kind of come up with excuses rather than taking on responsibility and realizing the dignity that we have. Jesus realized that dignity and he realized the authorities were trying to kill him because he was speaking the truth to them and they didn't want to hear the truth because it would jeopardize their authority and their grip over the people rather than serving the people. This is a challenge for us. What do we do with our authority, with our wealth, with our riches, with our skills, our talents? Do we use them to lord it over others, or do we see the needs of others as our own, as did Jesus, who set the example for us as the primordial son? And as we are sons and daughters, we too are called to use our skills, our talents, our resources entrusted to our care to serve the needs of others and reveal who our Father is. And three words sum it all up. And those three words are? Amen. Amen. In that spirit of love, we stand before our Heavenly Father as a family of faith and open our hearts to the needs of those whom we love and care for. We offer our Mass this morning for Michael J. Gibbons. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for peace in the Ukraine, that the leaders will realize this, these senseless acts of war and violence that never settle anything but only destroy the things that we have built up and the resources that we have. We pray to the Lord. Lord for all of our leaders, we're, uh, civic and religious, that they may hear the voice of God speak within their hearts and be good stewards of the people and resources entrusted to their care, we pray to the Lord. Lord for ourselves, too, on our Lenten journey, if we've fallen down or have fallen short of what we wanted to do, to pick ourselves up and make a resolve once again to show our love for our Father by the love we share with one another and for one another, we pray to the Lord. For our relatives and friends sick at home and in hospitals, be present to them, Lord. Give them your healing strength in their time of need, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, especially Shirley Weedoff, the mother of Charlotte Cradle, our principal here at St. George, that she may know the fullness of peace in God's kingdom forever, and that God will give comfort to her family that mourns her passing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, God, our Father, we come to you this morning with heartfelt love for our family, our friends, and for so many others. Hear the prayers that we have offered aloud and the many prayers that arise to heaven from our hearts for those whom we care for. Grant what we ask in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a word of wise and Father Tom here. He's stuck down in Florida. Oh my, what a place to be stuck. 
Um, his flight was canceled yesterday because of all the bad weather coming through. He wasn't able to get a flight until later this morning. So you're stuck with me. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all of the church. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope. Blaze our bishop and his associate bishops with the clergy, religious, and entire people your son has gained for you. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her beloved spouse, Saint Joseph, with Saint Jude, 
with uh, the blessed apostles, St. George, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Calling to mind that we are children of God and at the Savior's command, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share with one another a sign of Christ's peace among us. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways of life left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. I love that prayer, especially on this day of April Fool's Day. Is that a joke on me, old to new? I'd love to go from old to new, but unfortunately I'm going from old to, we got to replace that part. The Lord be with you. Bow down your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go and proclaim God's love by your lives. Amen. Please join in our closing hymn, Lord, Let Me Walk, number 473, hymn number 473, verse number 1. <clears throat> Lord, let me walk that lonely road with you under the weight of the wood. Lord, let me walk that last mile in your shoes under the weight of the wood. Freedom can be found laid in down under the weight of the wood. Have a wonderful day. God bless.